Good morning, students. I am Sai Kumar, physics lecturer. Today, we are going to discuss regarding the syllabus and question paper pattern of first semester. We have CPCS syllabus, nothing but what choice based credit system. Rather than marks, we will get the credits. Okay, nothing but grade points. Okay, the paper type. Mechanics and oscillations. In the first semester, we have which paper? Mechanics and oscillations. In that, we have four units. Unit 1, vector analysis. Unit 2. In unit 2, we have two chapters. One is mechanics of particles and second one, mechanics of rigid bodies. In the third unit, again we have two chapters. One is central forces. The second one is special field of relativity. In the fourth unit, we have oscillations. Okay. Now, we will see the question paper pattern. Okay. In part A, from unit 1, we will get 3 questions, 2 theory questions, 1 problem. Okay. In part A, we have from 4 units, each and every unit, we will get 2 theory questions, 1 problem. Like that, from unit 1, unit 2, unit 3, and unit 4, we will get three, uh, sorry, 2 theory questions and 1 problem. And similarly in part B, in part B, from each and every unit, you will get two questions with internal choice A or B. We have to write one question. Like that, from each and every unit, we have internal question A or B. We have to write either A or B. Like that, we have to attend four questions with internal choice. So, four into the part A. Here, in each and every, in part A, in each and every unit, you will get, you will get three questions. So, three fourths are to the in 12 questions, we have to attend a, only 8, any 8 questions. Okay? 8 for the 32. For each and every question, we have 4 marks for short answers. These are not long marks. For each and every long answer, we have 12, 12 marks. Okay? We, have to, we are going to write 4 questions from each and every unit. I mean, 1 question from each and every unit, like that, 4 into 12, 48. Okay? So, this is the question paper pattern. Now, coming to the syllabus. See, you are coming from internet background. First of all, what is physics actually? Physics is nothing but what? Study of nature and its laws. Whatever the physical world we have, this is what nature. Okay? For example, if I throw the object upwards, what happens? After some time, it will come down. Because the earth having the gravitation pull. Okay? It has that nature to pull the any object. Okay, it will attract all the objects in the universe towards it. Okay, that is the nature of the earth. Similarly, whatever the things, whatever the actions happening in the universe, okay, behind that we have some laws. Okay, so like that, physics is nothing but what study of nature and its laws. And in first paper, first semester, you will learn vector analysis already. Maybe you are familiar with what is vector and what is scalar. These are the basics in physics. Okay. Here, we will go through some applications of vector analysis. Okay. Scalar field, vector field, and curl of a vector, gradient of a scalar field. Okay. And divergence of a vector. And also some theorems like Stokes theorem, Gauss divergence theorem, and Green theorem, which are very important. Okay. This is, this is what unit part. In unit 2, we have two chapters, mechanics of particles and mechanics of rigid bodies. In mechanics of pa particles, we will learn laws of motion, Newton's first, second, third law, and also uh, variable mass system, motion of a rocket. Okay, these are the topics uh, we will learn under mechanics of particles. In the second chapter, mechanics of rigid bodies. In mechanics of rigid bodies, we will learn regarding what is a rigid body. What is rotational motion? Okay. What are the uh, rotational kinetic relations? And also Euler's equations. Okay. Uh, gyroscope. Like that. In mechanics of this body, we will uh, cover those topics. In the unit 3, we have two chapters. Central forces and special theory of relativity. In central forces, what is central force? What are the examples of central forces? What is uh, conservative means of central force? And Kepler's laws. Very, very important in Center, uh, central forces, the long answer question, okay, Kepler's loss, okay, from Kepler's loss, we, uh, 
pre, uh, I mean, in previous exam, we asked one uh, question regarding K plus one. Okay. In second, uh, that is in second chapter, there is special theory of relativity. We have Galilean transformation, Lorentz transformation, Michelson Morley experiment. Okay. Variable, uh, I mean, uh, additional velocities like that. We have some topics in the special theory of relativity. And in fourth unit, we have oscillations. In oscillations, we have simple harmonic oscillator, damped harmonic oscillator, and forced oscillation. Okay. So, like that, we have these. These are the four units. Okay. And in actually, the this is what theory. In for theory, we have 80, 80 marks. Okay. In, in our question paper, the maximum marks are how much? 80 marks. 80 marks for theory. Actually, we have total 100 marks. 80 marks for theory plus 20 marks for internal assessment. Okay, internal assessment. You have internal assessment, 20 marks. In 20 marks, again in 20 marks, 15 marks per uh, objective exam. Multiple choice question with you. Multiple choice question, okay, for 15 marks. And for 5 marks, we will give some assignment. You have to write, okay, assignment marks, okay. We will give some questions. Okay, you have to write that questions. We will give 5 marks per assignment and 15 marks for uh, written exam. 5 marks per assignment. Okay, we will give some homework. Okay, you have to write that uh, whatever the work will be, will be given. Okay, so like that, we will give 5 marks for the assignment and 15 marks for the objective exam. So, this is what regarding the syllabus and uh, question paper pattern. Okay. And also, uh, more. we have practical in every section. For uh, practical exam, we have 50 marks. See, uh, I said that choice based decision is nothing but what? Rather than marks, you will have grade points. So, these marks will be converted into grade points. Okay, 10 grades, maximum grade, I mean, uh, grade points, 10 grade points. Okay, I mean, uh, they will give outstanding O, A, B, C, D, E, last grade D, and uh, if you get F, you will be paid. Okay, like that, outstanding O, A, B, C, D, E, and if you get F, you will be paid in the examination. Either it may be practical or it may be theory. Okay, so these are the grading system. Right, so this is the our introduction class. In this class, we discussed only syllabus and also question paper pattern. Okay. In the next class, we will see the our first unit that is vector analysis. Okay. I will send the syllabus in your WhatsApp. Okay. Just write down the syllabus and send it by evening. Okay. Thank you, one and.